the channel The Electricity is in the air as today we take a look at possibly the greatest female wrestler in AEW. We take a look at AEW Unrivaled Series 11, Penelope Ford. Kyle here, and welcome back to the channel for another AEW Unrivaled Series 11 unboxing and review. And today on the channel from Series 11, we've got Penelope Ford. But remember, for all your WWE and AEW wrestling figure needs, make sure you're hitting up Ringside Collectibles. Use discount code KYLE to save yourself 10%. And that's exactly where Penelope Ford came from, hot off the truck via Ringside Collectibles. And of course, we're going to do this review like we do all the other reviews on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to see where it goes from there. And Penelope Ford, like a young Maurice, is really what she is at the end of the day. Big fan of Penelope Ford on my TV screen. I'm happy to see her back in action currently on AEW. Of course, this is her figure debut here in the Unrivaled, Unmatched, Jazzwares, Pantheon of action figures. And of course, her husband, Kip Sabian, unfortunately is in the same line, but uh, he is, and we'll get to his figure as well. But I really do like this Penelope Ford. I like the looks of what I'm seeing here. And as I said, she's possibly my favorite female performer in AEW, so this should be a special one. But let's take a look at the packaging on her first. Familiar packaging, the Unrivaled collection. We know it, we love it. You got the black and the gold, of course, the yellow background. Glamour shot down low, unmatched collection, of course. Got the figure in there. She is number 94 in the Unrivaled line, and she is a part of Series 11. And then on the course over here, it's got a S down here, and it does spell super bad, this whole set, so it makes sense with these two in the line. And then we got an absolute beautiful Glamour shot. I like what I'm seeing there. Of course, beautiful autograph as well. Got the cross cell down below. We're going to unbox all these guys on the channel and then we'll rank the wave once Jungle Boy comes in. I don't know when that day will be. I guess we'll wait and see. But Penelope Ford going to rank high for me. Going to rank high. I can feel it. Uh, but she's looking really good. This is from Friday Night Dynamite, 6-18-2021, Jacksonville, Florida. So very, very cool. But without further ado, hmm, it's interesting they say it's from this. I don't know if that picture's from her. Her hair is totally different than the figure is. So I don't know what's going on there. Uh, where Where's the uh, disconnect with that one? It's somewhere along the way, for sure. Uh, let's get old Penelope out of the package. See what all the fuss is about. And, oh, there's been fuss. Oh, there's been fuss around this house. That's for sure. See you later. Goodbye. Plastic prison time. Here's old Penelope. Looking good. It's a name you just don't hear anymore is Penelope. It's an old-timey name, but it works for her. It works for her. Penelope Ford. And she's looking real good. Looking good in figure form. Off the races. See you later. Goodbye. And Penelope came to play, but she also came to not mess around. She has two fisted hands with her, so I'm always excited to get fisted hands. Always need those. She's got two slapping hands, so she's going to slap you or she's going to punch you. One or the other, depending who you are. So we get those right there. And then we get the figure in the Polly Pocket style jacket going on. And she does have glasses. And they should be removable. Yes, they are removable. So we have removable glasses. First time in the line glasses here. Probably the first time we've seen female glasses in the line. So I like that as well. I do unfortunately see a little paint issues on her hair. We got a little black on there from paint from something or scrubbed off. So that's unfortunate. A little paint error on the head. Or I should say the hair. Uh, that sucks. She does have the Polly Pocket jacket that really limits everything. I just wish we got more soft goods with these Jazzwares figures because really she's just stuck in this position for good. So I, I don't know if that's going to be for me. But it is just a black jacket there. Got kind of the leather there. Would have been nice to see some uh, silver colors around the buckles, things like that. It'll really dress it up a little bit. Uh, but let's walk through this figure a little bit. Let me take the coat off. Let's see how hard this is going to be to get off. I'm going to pop her head off. Usually that kind of helps give you a little bit of room. And then you slide it off from there, and you're off to the races. So we get that off. Now we got to pop that head back on. A little bit loose in the head there on the ball joint. So hopefully that doesn't affect going back in and out. Definitely a little loose. Oh, there it is. Pops on perfectly, though. Oh, I thought I had a little paint chip. It seems like we're good there. All right, let's break this figure down. I guess let's start with the articulation. Head removable, of course. Head side to side. Uh, up and down, a lot of up and down, especially with that big hair. You get a little bit more than I would assume. But a little looseness in the head department, I will say that. You do get the bicep cut, arms go all the way around. Ooh, we got double jointed elbows, and we got a little bit of paint slop on the elbow as well for her. So that's unfortunate. 
Uh, we also got the pinless joints, of course. Hands removable, hands back and forth. Got the painted on forearm there in the black and the purplish color, we'll call it. We do got a good hula hoop at top. You got some waist. Do those big old Penelope Ford splits that are blocked by her backside. And we'll talk about that backside very soon here. Uh, but then we do got the thigh cut. Double jointed knees does have a, ooh boy, knee pad there. Very tight knee pad on one. She's just kind of got some like garter type thing going on on this side. You do get boot cuts with her. You do get the ankle articulation. Got black boots. Boy, that's, let us see here. That boot articulation, a little bit looseness in this and a little bit off-centered. I don't know what's going on there. So a little strangeness in this figure. There's some quality control issues on this figure is what I'm seeing, which I'm not liking, of course. Uh, we want our figures perfect out of the package. We want these the way we want them to be. She does got her singlet. I guess for a lack of better terms, we'll call it a singlet. I don't know what we would call this, but uh, she does have her outfit on here. It's very nice. Got the open spot in the middle there. Of course, some kind of black and purple, a little bit of orange highlights to it. Uh, the back door over here, though, man, oh, man, look at that going on. We see that with a lot of the AEW female figures. Uh, she is definitely larger compared to her body size here. So it's an interesting breakout. It does limit your articulation, of course, at the thighs. Uh, so that is interesting, but it definitely is an interesting uh, market strategy here. And of course, it's being realistic as we see the females in AEW. Obviously, they do look like this. They're not as covered up as maybe some of the other ladies in other federations. Uh, but it looks good. It looks good. I'm here for it. Why not? Uh, an interesting one. Then breaking down the head on this, her eye shadow is that kind of bright around the eyes. I don't know. I'm not a makeup artist. I have to bring my wife in for that one. Uh, but it looks good. It's one where it looked like the face was a little bit big at first, but it definitely grows on you. Uh, it looks more like Penelope Ford as I, as I stare at it, as I stare deep into her plastic eyes. Uh, it's just like we're, we're becoming one right here at this table here. You're seeing it, witnessing it right now. Uh, but it definitely is good. But boy, the quality issues on this one. The head, a little bit bobbleness to it. A couple of paint smudges. Uh, a little bit of a chip right here on the side of the plastic. Kind of some messed up boots going on. Uh, we got some quality control issues for sure with this figure. And I'm not exactly understanding. Holy cow, this boot is really, really bad. I might have to heat this up or something. I'm not sure exactly what is going on there. I don't know. But yeah, some quality control issues. Never a good thing, especially you know, on our action figures, really anything in this world. But she does fit on a stand. We know sometimes some of the females don't fit so hot on these stands. She definitely does fit on the stand, so we got that. Do a little comparison action. Of course, Jade Cargill next to her, so you can kind of see that difference there. Usually a pretty good me measuring stick. She's one of the bigger females. And then you got the greatest female wrestler competitor in AEW history. Of course, Rio. Go pick her up at your local Target or Walmart if you need to. But you can kind of see that height difference there between these two as well. So Penelope Ford, good in theory, bad in execution. Got some rough quality control issues on mine, but that will vary. Yours might be just absolutely perfect, and hopefully it is. And hopefully you do enjoy your Penelope Ford. As I do enjoy it, I just don't like the quality control issues. We'll, we'll leave it at that uh, for this figure here. But what say you guys out there in YouTube laying all in on Penelope Ford, playing the long game, passing on Penelope Ford? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And of course, don't forget to like this video. You made it this far, you might as well give the old thumbs up. Always helps the channel. Subscribe to the channel while you're at it. Turn on the old notification bell as we got videos every single day and then some. And even more videos over on the Patreon uh, where you can support the channel. You will get bonus content, exclusive content, monthly giveaways, all kinds of stuff going on over at the Patreon. You can also support the channel at ProWrestlingTees.com. Search Kyle Peterson. And then don't forget about social media. Sir Paul 64 is where you can find me over on Twitter, Instagram, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson. So for Penelope Ford, I'm Kyle, and I'll see you guys all real soon.